Hey guys, I'm going cross country schooling today, so let's do a voiceover vlog. Ponies are just eating their breakfast and beam in um, before we throw in some front studs and load up. Are you excited to jump some jumpies today, Rexy? You look very excited to jump some jumpies. <laughs> some packing essentials. Got all my stud stuff laid out. Gonna bring Z in and put some front studs in for him. You're so naughty. He always wants to rub his butt on the wall. <laughs> Did you scare yourself? So, when we go cross country schooling, I put studs in the front shoes before we leave, and then I put wraps on my horse's front feet. This just typically is easier to do ahead of time. Um, and then they get wrapped up front so that they can't like knock their leg with a stud in the shoe. Uh, we don't do the hinds just in case, God forbid, a horse started kicking on the trailer. Um, that's kind of something we don't, we don't do ahead of time. We do that quickly there. But at least by doing the front studs ahead of time, we minimize the time that we're standing around fussing with that uh, like out in a field. Ready to go schooling? Oh. So I'd like to start off by saying, wow, after not cross country schooling in almost a year since August of last year, it was really hard to knock the dust off. And right out of the gate, I was a lot more nervous than I thought I would be. You know, I had a pretty bad fall last year cross country and that really shook my confidence. And I came out nervous starting today and he clearly felt that and was anxious himself and we just kind of had some sticky issues early on where I was pulling on his face and not riding with enough leg he's kind of a sensitive ride in that you know he wants to drag you around but he also needs a lot of leg and you have to make sure you soften your hand to the fence uh he doesn't like you being in his face to the fence so I just wasn't in the groove at the start and I kind of want to show you guys the honest progression of the day. <laughs> this was a cross country clinic with Daryl Kenny and she was super positive and it helped me work through those initial issues of like feeling sticky and stuck and, and him not being confident and then I think we got into the, a good groove by the end so let's uh, start at the beginning. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's like... Yeah, it's like... Good job. Do it one more time. Just turn up. Turn left and go do both sides again. Just so that he feels super confident and like, yes, yes, I can do this. It's fine. So he was a little bobbly to start, just he feels unconfident and then obviously takes my anxiety and runs with it. And sometimes he can just be a little funny to fences if you just don't give him the right ride to them. And that's where we had, he stopped at a very little log that I don't think we got on video. And then he stopped at that little fence thing that I just showed you guys. And... I really think at the core of that, those were me, not him. Um, but, you know, I you kind of got to, like, drive him forward, get him moving, and give him the right ride to the fence. Or, you know, he doubts himself. So, as you may be able to notice, when I get nervous, I really brace my arms and kind of lock holding with this, like, death grip in his face. And I think that's something I really need to work on. You know, we worked on uh, feeling a little unconfident to start and got through all those things and he ended up having a good day. But I think a lot of it too is me and the way that I carry my body when I feel anxious and, and locking my arms and holding him in the mouth like that rather than driving with my seat and my leg is hard for him. Sit up. One, two, leg on. Good job. Yes. Yeah. Yep, circling is fine. Yeah, you just got a little silly over there. Look around the turn now. Look for your line. Stay tall in your body. Sit up now. <laughs> to kind of wrap up i had a really great time daryl kinney was super kind positive and encouraging she spent a lot of time listening to my feedback and giving good feedback in return uh, which i really enjoyed that being said knowing that we were going up to vermont to compete i wanted to make sure that i felt um super confident so i went back cross-country schooling about a week later with my coach which are these last few clips uh just to kind of like ramp up the morale and make sure that we both felt in sync before we went to a competition After the chaos of icing, poultice, and wrapping, since we do a lot of things for our horses after they go across country, I totally forgot to finish filming a closing part of this vlog. But thank you for watching and listening. I try to share the good, bad, and ugly of every experience that I've had with riding kind of a green thoroughbred and I hope you guys always appreciate my honesty. If you like the vlog, please make sure to uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel and comment on my videos. Thanks so much and I'll see you guys soon.